dinner tonight. I wanted something meaty. So I went searching around on Pinterest and I was noticing a trend that I had this one recipe pinned multiple times. So I think that means that I have to make it. It looks delicious. It seems pretty simple, so I'm all about it. As per usual, I am kind of hungry, so I think I want to get started. I mused out the ingredients, so I think I'm good to go. Just have to chop my steak. Oh, it's like a honey garlic steak bite situation. I am going to link the recipe that I am working off of down below in the description. I am kind of adding and adjusting certain things to my liking, but it is there if you want to look for all the exact ingredients and measurements. So I think we can get started. Bring it on down. To start with, I just have my steak here. These are sirloin strip tips, something like that. I think this would be good with a lot of different kinds of steaks. Um, ribeye would be delicious and like a flank steak would be scrumptious. Just cut it into bite-sized pieces. I have just seasoned this up quite generously with some salt and pepper. I'm gonna set this aside. Now for the sauce. Oh, the sun is just hitting this in all the wrong places. Oh well, you get the picture. Big bowl. Now we're going to throw together all the sauce ingredients and combine. Soy sauce, some salt and pepper. In here, I just have some ginger that I chopped up really finely. A lot of garlic that I also chopped up really finely. The whites of one scallion, a pretty large one, and I just cut up some of the greens. The rest of the greens I have over here chilling in some cold water for my garnish later. So I just threw the rest of them in here. Some honey. A little bit of sesame oil. A little bit of dried oregano. Some beef stock, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, just a couple drops, some rice vinegar, for some tang, and some cornstarch. That's gonna make it really thick and glossy and just like beautiful. Stir, stir, stir. Make sure that cornstarch is nice and broken up. You don't want any lumps in there. And you wanna really work that honey in there. So it's smooth. Beautiful. And now we're gonna set this aside. Now all we have to do is cook the steak. This is so easy and it smells insane to the stove. Got a skillet here heating on about medium with a couple of tablespoons of olive oil and I want this good and hot so when I put my steak in she sizzles. She's starting. So I'm gonna put these in and I want a really good sear on these because that flavor is gonna be all worked into the sauce at the end. I'm gonna put these in here and try not to move them for a little bit because I want that surface area to get nice and brown. And it won't brown if you keep on moving it. So let me get some good color on these. Flip some over that have the color. So you're just gonna have a few minutes on each side. You can cook them to the doneness of your liking. I'm actually gonna turn the heat up to a medium high because I really want some like good crust on these things. Look at the color on that thing. Oh yeah, these are gonna be good. We are about 90% there on this beef, so I'm going to take it out of the pan. Lower the heat back down to like a medium, and I'm going to take a little bit of the sauce and deglaze the pan with this. Get all of those brown bits up from the bottom. 
because that flavor is something we definitely want. You're all good with that. I'm gonna pour in the rest of my sauce. I'm gonna stir this around and that cornstarch in there is gonna instantly like tighten it up. So I'm just gonna bring this back up to a little bit of a simmer and cook it for maybe 30 seconds or so. It is, look at this, it's all glossy and thick. Then pop the beef back in, juice and all. Now we toss. Oh my gosh, this looks unbelievable. Get that all coated, and that sauce, and that garlic. This came together in legit less than 15 minutes. Like, this is the ideal, easy, weeknight meal that we have all been searching for. <laughs> I can really smell that oregano, even though I just put that tiny pinch in, it really just like packs a punch in here. Delicious. And we're done. It almost has like a stroganoffy vibe to it, which I don't hate at all. It's so thick and just like, can you hear that? That's some good stuff. I was cooking some rice to put this over, but it seems to be taking much longer than I anticipated. So I'm gonna wait to plate mine up, but I will definitely try one because you know, gotta make sure it's not poison. Ooh, you know what will be good in this? Some lime juice. I'm gonna give this a squeeze. Got everything plated to finish it off. I'm gonna throw some sesame seeds on here. My chilled crispy green onions and maybe a lime wedge or two. Look at that. It looks super pretty, but also kind of nasty at the same time. <laughs> you know, it's ugly delicious. I think I need to eat some. Got my bowl of beef right here with my little nugget. It smells tangy but beefy and just like, you can really smell that oregano like I was saying. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, that is so good. The flavors are all just kind of like chilling together. Mm. That lime was a good decision. I suggest it. It's tangy from like the vinegar, but it's sweet and salty and all the flavors, all the umami. Another piece. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. I gotta stop. I'm gonna wait until my rice is done. I'm gonna make some broccoli. It's gonna be a, ooh, the sun. I'm gonna wait till my rice is done. I'm gonna make some broccoli. It's gonna be a good dinner. You should definitely try this. Easy, easy, fast, squeezy. Enjoy.